During our six o'clock news tonight, our focus team dispelled the myths on recycling and reveal how far off Louisville Metro is for meeting its goals on going green. There are many challenges, including supply and demand in the marketplace. In part two, John Charlton looks at why the business of recycling has become more isolated. Like the opening round of a title fight, Wall Street is a ring where some take jabs at risky stocks, most trade punches with market highs and lows, and a few land a winning combination on commodities, such as gold, oil, even coffee. But there's one commodity, a garbage stock, if you will, that we all dump our fair shares on every week. Recycling is not only an investment in our planet's future, the rubbish returns are basically stockpiled futures. We do an average of 700 tons a day, so 14,000 tons a month. West Rock off Fern Valley Road separates much of Louisville's recycling. This plant is open seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The rest comes to Rumpke this transfer station where cardboard, paper or plastic, glass and aluminum are deposited, then scooped up to load up a trailer for the haul, a 110 mile haul up 71 to Cincinnati to Rumpke's state of the art. It's one of the best plants probably running in the country today. $32 million separation plant. This was an investment. A major investment with profits literally on the line boosting Rumpke's bottom line. You can see they stay really busy here at Rumpke, delivering 800 tons of recyclables per day, or 1.6 million pounds of recyclables. Anything that tears, we can take it. That's kind of our, our mantra. Sorted, compacted, and bundled in bulk. Rumpke supplies manufacturing across the board. Railroad ties, boat dock bumpers, the uh, aluminum cans go back into the production of new can sheet. Recycling. It's a cycle, it really is. Comes full circle in a global economy. The only thing that's been chaotic for us has been the price. With so much imported from China, American recyclables had been a major export to China by the cargo boatloads, materials shipped out in large containers. But that's been cut off. China implemented what's called the national sword. Slashing prices. Two years ago, mixed paper was selling for about $75 a ton. Today, the index price is zero. Rumkey Recycling Director Steve Sargent. We're going through a tough spot. Says both the East and West Coast have been hit the hardest, with Middle America feeling the effects, even though almost all of Rumkey's recyclables. 98.2% remain stateside. It all backs up. That just piles on product, tipping the scales on supply and demand. Heavy on the supply, lighter on the demand. This is the most dramatic downturn we've ever had in the recycling market. The market's flooded with this material right now. Despite this bear market for the industry. It's just a crazy commodity that we go through. Rumpke says they've managed to land enough vendors which are buying what they're selling. We really have a lot of markets within about a 250 to 300 mile radius of Cincinnati. That's plastic, that's glass, that's aluminum, it's steel, and definitely paper. When it comes to paper, when it's recycled, it's broken down to pulp. Pulp also makes cardboard and West Rock. Manufactures the majority of all pizza boxes in the country. Has diversified its portfolio, investing in itself, being its own vendor. We have mills all over the country, all over the world. Cashing in on cardboard. We need this product. Packaging operations and primed to capitalize on what's known as the Amazon effect. People are buying everything through Amazon and through other online programs and everything's getting shipped to their houses. As long as there's a need for boxes to put material in and ship material, then there's going to be a demand for our cardboard that we recycle. While West Rock hasn't cornered the market, China is starting to purchase mills here in America. It feels well positioned for the future of recycling. So does Rumpke. We're going to be a much stronger recycling industry. We have to be. Every ton recycled here and there does a ton of good.
Landfills take longer to fill up. It's got to be the cost effective alternative to landfilling. It's better than burying it in the ground. We can reuse it. Another indication that we're feeling the effects of the global market on recycling right here in our state is that over in Lexington at the Lexington Recycling Center, they have temporarily stopped accepting paper products. For Focus, I'm John Charlton.